so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. The Bible says, just as in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man in these last days. I'm going to show you. Y'all some elderly sisters. It's a shame when we see elderly sisters that go to church that don't got no sense of the Bible. Right now, all of you are the unrighteous. But you can repent. Right. You are breaking God's commandments right now. You are unrighteous. Read on. Sister right here. Sister right here. Sister right here. You said you feel like no, you, you feel like times have changed. Times have changed. I'm gonna show you something. Because right now, what time is it? What time is it on your watch? But what time is it to God according to the word of God? What time is it according to God? Huh? No, it's the Sabbath day. When the sun goes down, that's the beginning of the next day. But in school, you're taught, growing up as a child, you're taught what? That the next day starts at what time? 12, but that's not true according to God. God says, remember he said in the evening and the morning, were the first day and the evening and the morning were the second day all the way until you got to how many days seven days there was an evening and the morning that was considered the next day so the times have changed but who changed them the same people that brought us into captivity i want to show you that the bible is a history book it's not a religious book right your foremothers and forefathers wrote the book so that in these last days we will remember who we are this is what Daniel, the book of Daniel says. Read this. Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 25. Have the times changed? What does the Bible say about the times we live in right now? Read. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Somebody has spoken great words against the Most High. That's why, sister, you say, you believe that we're born, we're spiritual and everybody is born how they're born and that, that's just the way it is, right? That's what you agree to? You say that gay is just the, that, that's, they say that's the new black, right? But that's not the new black. But that's, that's the term in society. Gay right. is the new black. Right. That's a term. Y'all never heard of that? No. Yes, that's a term in society. There's, 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 they say gay is the new black. Right. You heard that before. No, but thank you. Okay, not a problem. But we're going to read this anyway. The thing is, when you start bringing out laws, when you start bringing out the Bible and showing our people, correcting them according to God's words, we always got a problem with that. You know why? Because we know we're off as a people. Read what you got. Hey, chapter 7 and verse 25. Have the times changed? Yes, the time has changed. That's why there's so many of you college students out here tonight breaking God's Sabbath day. That's why there's so many old folks from the sororities, from the damn 50s and 60s out here trying to be 17 again breaking God's commandments. Read what you got. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Somebody has spoken great words against the Most High that got you black people running up and down the street talking about celebrating the homecoming. The only homecoming you should be preparing for is the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's what you should be preparing for. The homecoming that you should be preparing for is your return back to your homeland. Return to the, the land that you came from and remember that your foremothers and forefathers came here as slaves. God says, well, read it again. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. The saints of the Most High are worn out. Just look at our brothers and sisters today. Y'all brothers are worn out. You sisters are worn out. Some of y'all have been chasing ass since you was 17 years old. Yeah. Now you 45, you still out here at homecoming chasing ass. Some of y'all are going to get raped tonight. You're gonna get, you're gonna get pregnant tonight. You're gonna smoke, drink, and destroy your lives tonight. Yes, I'm talking to you elders because you know what? It took young men to come out here to teach our people. Y'all looking to step, y'all looking to party, you're looking to continue the degradation of the black nation. We're gonna tell you tonight and the rest of the time that you're here that you are breaking God's commandments. Right. Read it again. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, Come on. and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, Come on. and think to change times. Somebody has changed the times. How did a black man that once ruled the earth get reduced to a damn or Greek stepper? Three. 
Have you not known that the history of black people in America, you have been put under the hands of your oppressor? Right. All this Greek philosophy that you're displaying has come from the hands of your oppressor? Right. You continue the downfall of your people. That's now y'all got some poles, you're about to start the step and march for our people to make it look like we're doing something great. This is you in your misery. You have learned to love your misery. Somebody has stuck to change times and laws. Women in spandex, brothers wearing dresses, two big grown ass men walking around here hugging each other. You better remember that you are the Israelites. That's why we're here. You cannot like the words of God, but you will be judged according to the Bible. Read it again. And ye shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear off the saints of the Most High. Look at the saints of the Most High. They don't even know that they're saints. They're steppers now. They're band players now. Right. They don't know that they're the greatest people on the earth. Right. But we're here to tell you that. Even with your loud noise that you're going to make. Read on. And think to change times uh, and law. Uh, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Give me Matthew chapter 24 verse 37, I believe. Bring it up. 24 37, right? That's wrong. Read. 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 Matthew chapter 24 verse 37 but as the days of Noah were so shall also the coming of the son of man be you got a flyer you said yes sir all right so let me ask you a question what's your nationality hey I have I have declare my nationality yeah what's your what's your nationality are you black are you black Righteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. 
You are unrighteous, sister. That's why you want to give it back. You're not the only unrighteous one. Look at all these unrighteous ones. No, you not. That the kingdom that you would not inherit the kingdom of God. Read again. No, ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Right now, all of you are the unrighteous. Right. But you can repent. Right. You are breaking God's commandments right now. You are unrighteous. Read on. Be not deceived. God says, don't be deceived. Come on. Neither fornicated. Fornication. That's half of y'all out here right now. Real. If you have slept with a man and you are not married, you are fornicator. Death will be at your front door. Yep. Fornicators? Nor idolaters. Some of y'all are married. You're an adulterer. Looking to commit adultery again tonight. That's you old fools. That's you old steppers. That's been doing this for 20 years. Right. You're the old fools. You're the big adulterers. Read. Nor adulterers, nor effeminate. That's you men that are running around here acting like women. You effeminate. You effeminate boys who have no father figure, no testosterone in your body to give you the testicular fortitude to be a man. Nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. That's a man pushing his rod into another man, an abuser of mankind. Read. Nor thieves. Nor you thieves. Some of y'all are some thieves. Black people love to steal. Read. Nor covetous. Uh -huh. Nor drunkards. Nor drunkards. That's the part. That's ninety percent of you. That's ninety percent of you out here. A bunch of drunkards. Come on. Nor revelers. Uh -huh. Nor extortioners. Uh -huh. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. So old fool sister that went down. Hey, that's for you. You are breaking God's commandments. No, you read it from the top again. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. We don't need you to come stand here, but we're here to give you and deliver to you the word of God yeah. as it is written. Whether you will hear or whether you will forbear. Right. Read on. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. But they'll all say, yeah, I'll be in church Sunday. Go back to Matthew chapter 24, verse 37 again. Back to Matthew 24, verse 37. Because we got a lot of brothers and sisters out here right now that claim, I love God. How? You don't know God. That's why you're out here tonight breaking the Sabbath day. Read. The book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Just like it was during Noah's time, it's the same thing right now. We're looked at as the fools on the corner that came to a homecoming party to teach the word of God. That's what we're looked at as the fools, but you are actually the fools that are out here breaking God's commandments year after year after year, and you think that there's no punishment for it. Come on, read. Verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. Just like you're doing right now. We can smell the hot dogs. We smell the beef dogs. You smell that chicken? You smell that? What, what, everything that you're cooking over there, you're, 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 you're happy and breaking God's commandments. Break it up. Read. Mary and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So just like it happened back then, it's going to happen again in these last days. It is hot. Give me that in Romans 13. And 11. You brothers and sisters got to wake up. You got to wake up. You got to come out of this dark sleep that you're in and realize that there's more going on on the earth than a homecoming. War is being waged on the earth right now, and our people only think that I'm partying. Yeah, they said free who? Palestine gonna get their freedom all right. It's gonna come by flames and fire. Right. That's how they're gonna get it. They don't. You don't realize that what's what's going on on the earth right now is for our people. What's going on, my brother? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. My name's Kalani. What's your name? Omar. Omar. I got a question. What do you think about what's going on on the earth right now when you look at Israel and Palestine at war? I believe you believe it's biblical? Yeah. What did What did Christ say about this building? Get that in Matthew chapter 24. Back to that, still there in Matthew 24, I think it's uh, verse 40, verse 40, yeah. What, what, did Christ, what did Christ say about these times? Verse 4, what did he say? Let's see what the Bible says, read. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. He says, take heed that no man deceive you. 
What you see going on right now is a big deception. This is a big deception. They have our people so geeked up and jacked up on homecomings and celebrating uh, 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 years of foolery that have been perpetuated in our community. Christ said, don't let no man deceive you. Read. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. So many have come under the banner, under the banner saying that they're Christ. That's why we get the image. We're the image of the beast at. That's why we get the image of the so-called white man. We get the image. We get Sergio Borgia. This, this man actually walked the earth. Michelangelo used him and painted him as the renaissance Jesus Christ and gave him the life of our Lord and Savior in the Bible. So many have come saying that they're Christ, but Christ has not yet come back to this earth. Read. And shall deceive many. Many of you are deceived. Our sisters are here deceived. Read. And shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So Christ says you're going to hear of wars and rumors of wars. Come on. See that ye be not troubled. God, but he says don't be troubled. Read. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation. So we're supposed to be looking for the signs. Nations rising against nations. If, we, if our people got any sense, we, was, we should know what's going on. But here's the thing. Our people don't care. They don't care. All we, this is what we care about. We care about partying, YOLO, turn up, live it. You only live once. This is what we care about. But Christ says, be not deceived, the end is not yet. We don't, nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom is gonna rise against kingdom. You got Israel, Palestine, Iran, Hamas. You got all of these uh, uh, terrorist groups that are about to wage war on each other. Meanwhile, black people in America wanna party. We wanna hang out. Until they realize it's about to Right, we 50 years old going to homecoming talking about, yeah, homecoming, it's homecoming. I'm talking about everybody out here. I'm talking about all these people, all, all my people. This is good correction. That don't come to our neighborhoods. We don't get that. Correction don't come to us. That's why we continue to stay in the same position. Right. Read on. And there shall be famines and pestilences. COVID-19 is a pestilence. He said there, there shall be famines and pestilence on the earth in these times. Read. And earthquakes. And earthquakes. In diverse places. And all these are the beginning of sorrow. God says, Christ says, these are the beginning of sorrows. What we got to realize is that sorrows is about to come. So I ask you, what's your nationality? Well, I, I believe we're really Hebrew. You believe we're really what? We're really Hebrew. We're really Hebrew. What about our brother right here? Brother right here. What's your nationality? What do you think your nationality is? Like, what nation of people do you come from? American. Okay, you're American? All my people from America. All your people from, how did they get to America? I don't know. All my people from South Carolina. But who, how did they get to South Carolina? It might have been natives. Okay, how did the natives get here? Good. Think, brother, think. They might have already been here. They was not already here. Well, so, you you from South Carolina. You never heard of Charleston, the slave port in Charleston, South Carolina? Yeah. So, you, have you, do you know anything about the history of Charlestown before it was named Charleston. Well, you gotta know people already been here though too. Okay, who were those people? Native people. Who were they? What are they nationality? Were they called natives? America. No, they was not. Remember, if they was natives, America didn't get his name until Amerigo Vespucci came here. But they was here before that. Native. Okay, so the natives, the, natives the, the natives of the land have a nationality. Yeah. They are from right here, the 12 tribes of Israel. That's where they're from. Those, those are the tribes that was here. It, yeah, that's the truth. We can prove that. We can prove that. But even when it comes to you, before your people got here, those natives that was here was here, right? But your people was not here. You was not here yet. Your tribe was not here yet. When did your tribe end up on this soil we call America today? That was the slave trade. The transatlantic, I'm getting to your nationality. You're not black, you're not African American, you're not native. When you look on this side, when you put that, when you put that fly over, it says the 12 tribes of Israel. On one side, flip that fly over right there, flip it all the way over. They're on the back. On one side, it has the names that we're called in America. On the other side is the name that God calls us according to the Bible since the beginning of time. We've always been known as the nation of Israel. 
Slavery changed our name, and now we're just known as black, African-American. Two names, African and American. How can you be African and American? Because you was, because your people came from Africa, but you were American? That don't make no sense, bro. Think about it. Why are we the only ones on the planet that got two names and named after two continents? Ain't nobody else named after two continents. All right, so what? What are you trying to prove? I'm proving that you're an Israelite according to the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. I'm going to show you something. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth. Even unto the other. God says that he would scatter his chosen people from one end of the earth unto the other. That's why anywhere you go in the world, you're going to find black people. Because God scattered us all over the earth. So how do you feel about the storage? What, the, the what? The storage. The storage. Yeah. What story? The stories of the Bible? Yes. It's more than stories. It's history. It's right. prophecy. I'm saying, what do you feel about? I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I feel. Give me one second. Read on. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64, right? I read. No, give me 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, when you read the Bible, you got to understand the Bible is written in duality. It's a parable. Egypt is bondage. I'm going to show you that. When you're reading the Bible, you can't just read straight through. You got to know what it's talking about. This is what Egypt means. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. So now we went from Deuteronomy back to Exodus to let the Bible explain itself. What is this bondage? Read. I am the Lord thy God, which has brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So he brought us out of where? The land of Egypt, which is what? Out of the house of bondage. So he equated Egypt to what? Bondage. Is so that, now, is that because the land? Is that because, is that because, we were, the, is that because the land was receiving rainfall? That's because, because we, we were in, unlivable. We were in bondage in Egypt. We were in bondage. We were slaves in Egypt. Right. That's why when you go back to Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-eight, we listen again. Read, now, now let's read this with the understanding. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-eight, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, whereof I speak unto them, thou shalt see it no more again. Go back at the top and stand in the spirit. Stand in the spirit. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Egypt, which is synonymous to what? Bondage. The Lord shall bring you into bondage again with ships. With what? With ships. Now, it says he's going to bring us into bondage again with ships. Where the sign at? Look at this sign right here. Somebody shine the light on this sign for them. Or look on the front of your flyer. So that means they've been, okay. bringing, so that mean they been bringing us together with ships. They brought us into bondage. What is, what is another, what is a, a modern bondage, term? A bondage is being together. What is a modern term for, for bondage? Together. What is a modern term for bondage? Captive or Slave. slavery. Together. Bondage is slavery. So let me tell you, if I, if I took your hands, bound them together, took your feet, bound them together, and took you uh, to Australia, and sold you to the Johnsons in Australia, what would you call that? Call that a trade. You would call that slavery. If you had to serve those people in Australia, what would you call that? You had to work the field? Right. You had to build the houses? What right. would you call it? Right, but well, what if my, all my people from America though? So I that, that ain't, stay with me. If that happened to you, right. and you ended up at the Johnsons in Australia, right. where you had to work the field, build the houses, what are you called to the Johnsons? It's called sharecropping. It's called slavery, brother. Our people, we gotta get up. You know what? It be fear in us. So that, hold on, hold on. No, I'm gonna show you something. You listen, it be you fear listen, in us that allows us to hold on, hold on, disregard the truth of the matter. The Bible is explaining what would happen to a specific group of people. The same people that are running up and down the streets today that don't know who they are. They don't know their nationality. Read it from the top again. So what do you call sharecropping? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So God will bring the Israelites into slavery again with ships. Come on. By the way, where have I spake unto thee? Thou shalt see it no more again. You will not see your homeland ever again. No, so listen. Hold on, wait a minute. 
And there, and there, when you get off the slave ships, there, when you get off of the slave ships, and there, when you get off of the slave ships, come on. And there, you shall be sold. You shall be what? You shall be sold. You shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and slave men and bond women and slave women. Who did that happen to? It happened to anybody else. So what, I, what I'm saying is, so do you, do you feel like that Stay happened? Stay by your brothers. So do you feel like that happened because of what we're in? Or do you feel like, can people like be native to the land? We're not. This is not I, our I mean, land. I know I understand you're taking it serious, but I have to understand what everybody is taking it serious to and what you have on. Yeah. I have one on the mega sci-fi. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's Greek. Them brothers back there laughing my ass. That's, that's you know Greek. I understand. But I'm saying, a lot of people are not participating in what you're doing. It's all right. The, okay. word, the so, word is only meant for a few. Everybody ain't going to get it. The okay. Lord dealing with y'all two right now. That's what the Lord is dealing with. Right. You may look at us like we're just mere men. Right. But the Lord is dealing with you and you right now. So what are you trying to figure? I'm trying to show you what your nationality is. I'm going to show you how bad it I'm is. I'm saying, if all my These people... These young brothers, I'm saying, brother, I don't listen, their nationality listen, brother, is. We're supposed to be teaching them. Listen, brother, if you say are no people, are no native to the, the land of America... The only people that... You saying you saying no black people are native no, to America. We were brought here as slaves. You saying no people we have been here already. Here, we were brought here as slaves. No people been here already. I'm gonna show you if you let me show you. Give me that in second edge. I mean, the second edge. What, 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 what's your? Thirteen. That's the King James. That's the King James. We followed what was translated by what was translated by the scholars during King James time into English. No, 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 I'm going to show you. Who sold the, I'm saying, I'm like, who sold the people? Who you think? I'm saying, did, 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 did all people sell, sell our own people? No, we didn't sell ourselves. Sure. That's what, that's what they would have you believe. You got that off of the movie Roots. So, so how would Because there, we have the lineage of Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Are we Hamites? Are we Shemites? Or are we Japheths? We are Shemites. We are Shemites. That was the land, that was the lineage of Ham that was selling the lineage of Shem. So we're not the same people. We dark, we all dark skin, but we're not the same people. But every American that is- I can't answer two questions. You guys have the original map, the land of Judah, like in Africa? Yes, yeah, we got that too. I'm gonna show you something. Let's go back, let's deal with one thing at a time. Let's deal with one thing at a time. Let's deal with Bible. Let's deal with the translation of the Bible. Read. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support 